well. Starting off this video with a calf pump so I can get right to excited to get you guys a nice little video. We got a back day coming today. We're doing a quick little Q&A. So really just running through some questions I've been getting prevalently the last couple weeks. Talk to you guys about what's going on lately. A couple trips that we got in the works, me and Garrison. And uh... Why do you need that right now? Because I can. Kill me. Yeah, so we're starting on calf raises. Every single, I said every single upper body day, we are doing calf raises because these calves got to grow. We're in the off season, baby. I don't care what you are, who you are, what you're doing. You got to get your calves right because if your calves are tiny, like you can grab a whole handful. You think you can get your whole hand around your calf? 100%. You think so? 100%. I think at, there was a point I could get one, like one oh, hand. Oh, like the meat of my calf? Yeah. I don't know, but like. That would actually, I'd be afraid for your life if you can get your whole hand. Like the nah, Bambi style? Oh yeah, I could definitely do like, my, like, like above my ankle. Oh yeah. Um, I'm trying yeah. to get my shit like Vaughn, bro. You see Seabone comment on Vaughn's picture? Dude, Seabone commented on Vaughn's picture. He's like those watermelons. Yeah. <laughs> But that's the goal. I want I want some Vaughn Walker calves. I want some fat, meaty calves. So we're starting every upper body day with at least three sets of 12 to 15 reps on some type of calf raise. Uh, we may even do a second movement depending on how much time we have. So we're going to get into it. Three by 12 to 15. Good tempo on the seated calf raise. I've been mortified, 45, fitting like a motor car. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of them die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them fly. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram already, Zane Carver Fit on Instagram, this is where the Q&A was. So if you missed it, you're missing it, follow, put on the bell, see the notifications, because I'm going to be putting these out once a week, see if we can get some questions, answer some of you guys' uh, prevalent questions I've been getting every single week. The first one we're going to start with. Mm -hmm. So the first question, I guess, kind of relates to what we just talked about with doing calves on upper body days and what my current split is. So right now, um, Kyle Wilkes, my coach, wrote me a split or gave me a split that he's used in the past that it's been successful. And it's a three days on, one day off, two days on, one day off. We're doing a push day, a pull day, and a leg day. Those are all like heavier, more compound type days. Um, we're gonna take our time, work up to a top set, and then do a back off set. Some Sometimes with um, uh, and some type of intensifier, and you know, like legato. get chipped like cicado, send a wave through the hood. Now nah, sounding like vibrato. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to dash shells before I land in our tomato. Singing all my sorrows on Apollo. I've been trying to pave the way, but they didn't tell me it was potos. Mm. America ain't dreaming if be skimming when the birth of a nation came from black. black, black, black. Uh, we all know it's black, black kings. Everybody love the culture, they be black. By convenience. How does that get there? Stanky ass socks on the floor. I know. Hundred dollars for membership. You can't even pick up the socks. Sounded like a real anthem. Charlie Summer wanted that she think I think I answer. Whoa, telling me she wanted me to hammer. Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer. No, I can never trick, trick, trick. Let the bitch use my bitch with a kiss on my lips, like, ah. Oh. I am not a pimp with a limp. I'm a man with a gift, and I'm doing my shit, like, ah. Oh. Tell them other nips, I'm the nip. I'm the man in the city, and my bank account bigger, and my body count bigger. That's without a doubt. I'm a hundred steps ahead, that's a lot of mouth, that's a lot of clout. What you all about? What your dollar mount? You a boy stout, yeah, I'm a big dog. Tell the truth, I don't get charged to shoot. Sign a corny mother turn this shit. Quick tip for all my acne prone gym goers. Wipe your face as soon as you're done with the gym. I wouldn't use these, these are sanitizing wipes, but it's better than nothing. Alright. Would you rather be half your height or double your height? That's a good one, Gary. What do you think of that? Would you have, you have to be half your height or double your height? I know what they say about really tall guys. <laughs> what do they say? They have really big socks. <laughs> so I'm five foot ten, arguably. Arguably. Some people may like size me up and try to say I'm five nine. I'm five ten. It's confirmed. Doctors confirmed it. So that would be what? Eleven. 11 8? If I was 11 foot 8, yeah. would that be better than being 
What's the math? What's the math? 210? No. That's not how that works. Something like that. No. Uh, that's gotta be close. Seven. Two, uh, mm -hmm. No, because... It's 12 inches. Think about six. Think about if it was six, that would be three. Yeah, so it's 27. I think it's... Mm, it's four. It's four inches off, no? Two eight. All right, so I'd rather be 211 or 118. Easily 118. Easily 118. How would you how would you go through life being half your size rather than being double your size? Dude, 211, that's like a toddler. Listen, if you're 118, you are famous for something. You know? Like you're famous for something. There's there's ways to get around the plane thing. There's ways to get around the car thing. You can get like a triple X like car X convertible only. Convertible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not like, living like Texas. I'm in the coop. I'm in the coop. That's crazy. Shout out Dr. Mike Riley for that. Uh, rather be half your height or double your height. Typical doctor. Classic six foot three guy coming in with the height, uh, the height question. All right. Any big collabs coming soon? So we actually just had an interesting conversation today um, with someone who is working with a clothing brand. So. There may be something in the works in terms of a clothing brand. I'm not gonna not gonna talk about it yet. It's not well known. It's not like a Young LA. It's not an Anaka. It's a up and coming, up and coming streetwear brand. So stay tuned. That that's gonna be cool. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, should I buy XRP or wait for it to drop below forty cents? I didn't realize we'd get a stock question. I, I didn't think I would get a stock question. Hello. <laughs> what? Oh. Yo, you get my text? Yo, no, David is literally going to kill me. Why? And I don't care, but it's hilarious. He's gonna kill you for this? He's because I can just see him checking the cameras, and not he can I don't think he can see you in here, but see me going in here. Literally you in see here? like you coming in here, Gary pulling the buttons. Yeah, literally. How I started YouTube? So I started YouTube like maybe six six months after I started. I finished college. Um, I was like, I always wanted to do it. Like I like long form content. I watched so much YouTube during college. Like that was like the way I did cardio. I put it on at night. Like I just watched so much fitness YouTube as I was like coming up. It's like 2018, 2019 I started. It's like when I first started making videos and then 2020 I actually started posting them. In 2019 I was just like practicing. Like I would get it, I had a camera and I would film, and then I also used my phone a ton all the way through college, and that was how I was posting on Instagram. But anyway, started on YouTube, beginning of 2020, I posted a video, and like got nothing. And then I started COVID, and I posted a video like locked in the house, and it was like, you know, like, okay, like maybe this will last like two, three weeks, and then COVID kept happening. So then I started doing more YouTube videos, like about like working out in the basement, and I was like, trying to prep for a show and like, you know, that whole thing was like the first like six month stretch of me actually like making YouTube videos. And I guess like, I didn't really feel like I had an identity on YouTube, but I just tried. Like I just tried to put videos out where I was just showing what I was doing or I was just trying to um, really just show my process and like maybe like teach people something if I could. But I started YouTube literally on my phone, on my iPhone. Like that's how I made my first video. And then I bought a camera and was making videos that way for Instagram. And then inevitably we started using that Canon M50 that I still have to make YouTube videos. And it just kind of snowballed from there. Consistency started to pick up after like six months, eight months or so. And um, at that point I started posting like basically monthly and then got to like bi-weekly. And now we're kind of close to weekly. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I started YouTube. Okay. Sneaker collection. Not a good person to ask this because I really don't have a big sneaker collection. I just bought uh, the Racer Blue SB Dunks. Um, I like those. I have my mint Jordans on right now. I have a pair of Alexander McQueen's that I'm in love with. Um, I don't really have like a lot of like named sneakers. I don't even. Can you, can you think of anything that I have? I don't think so. That's it. There's I, a lot of like dress shoes and shit. There's a lot of dress shoes, like Magnani's, Steve Madden's, and then I have um, Versace's. But like that's like work clothes. Um, yeah, I mean like I wear I wear my my 
family crest ring, like religiously. I put it on my necklace, my girlfriend got me. Shout out Maddie. Um, and then I have a bracelet that I wear that it was like honestly not expensive um, that I got from like a local sh store. Um, I don't have like a lot of jewelry. Like, I have a movement watch. I like movement a lot. I've had like three movement watches. That's really it. I'm not like, I don't spend a lot of money on like accessories and stuff. Like recently I got more into sneakers. I just like want more and more like collectibles that like I can keep nice. Cause I, I think can... you're more into like stuff that'll match your fits. That's true. That's true. Like those, those SBs like work perfectly with most of like the young LA. Yeah, that's true. Block party shorts that you have and stuff. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I want to do more of that. I want to have more like sneaker more of a sneaker collection i used to just buy sneakers to like wear them for performance and then just like burn them into the ground like oh i do have those nike reacts the um the kendrick lamar versions the with the kind of like marble i like those those are, those are hard to wear though but that's really all i have what camera do i have so it's kind of a complex question maybe we can say yours not mine yeah, so I have a Sony A6400. I have two lenses. I have a fixed 16 millimeter f1.8 uh, that I typically use, and then I have a Sony 16 to 35, I think, uh, f2.8. And uh, that's a zoom lens. I, I like the fixed lens better. It's just clearer. The f1.8 aperture is just like a lot better, in my opinion. Um, and then. That, that. That's only the second camera I've had because the last yeah. one I had was a Canon M50. It was crap. But and then Gary has a Sony A7 IV. We used to. Use, I used to have an R2, and then yeah. I dropped it at the gym here. So we were. I'll tell the story. So we were doing like fucking lets us, dude. This camera blows. <laughs> Why is it so fucking overheating oh, again? Oh my god! All right, I'll tell it quick. So we were doing legs, and I was about to do a hamstring curl, and this girl just got off of it, and there's like you know there's only one hamstring curl, so everybody's kind of hawking it. So Gary like you know, trying to make sure that I get it next, put his camera down on it to make sure that like we kind of, you know, marked our territory and he put it on top and rested it. But then somebody dropped a dumbbell, like, I don't know, 25 feet away. It was, dude, it was a heavy ass. It was like 110, 120. Yeah. And the thing just rolled right off. It broke. It broke.